What's up, y'all? It's Dewan with 24 Wire TV, and right now I'm hanging out with my man Rico Love. Rico, how are you? Flesh, man. And Hello, Good Morning was a huge record in 2010. How did you come up with that? Was there a set formula, or was this another uh, instance where you're freestyling and you were like, this Hello, beat, Good Morning? I was going, what happened was, <laughs> Puff, see, Puff sat me in the room for like maybe 10 hours. It's a true story. Okay. So I'm sitting in the room. He wouldn't let me leave. Literally, security wouldn't let me leave. So. He was like, yo, I heard all the hype about Rico Love. Rico Love better write me a hit. Mm -hmm. So I get out here, I'm in New York, and I'm working all day, and I just, everything I played for him, he just didn't like, he didn't like. But he finally comes in, and he says, yo, man, just go ahead, get some rest. And you can, I said, nah, I'm not leaving here until I do something that you like. So I just started going through my, he had gave me a lot of tracks. So I just started going through my own tracks that I had, and Danger Hat gave me um, a bunch of beats. So I went through this particular beat, and I heard it. I rearranged the arrangement of the music though in the Pro Tools or whatever. And um, the first thing I heard when I heard the, the, the drum kick was Hello, Good Morning. Man. So it was like the first thing instantly when I heard the beat. I just went in the booth and just put it down. And then um, I did the first verse in the hook and I went to Fleet Jazz and got something to eat. And when I came back, I wrote the, the post rhyme. For it. And after that, it was just like he came in. And this was the day before Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. And um, he came in, listened to the record, and played it like 10 times back to back. Cause this is a guy who was like, from the, until then, it was like Stoneface when I called. So then I would be like, yo, this is like, finally I get a reaction. He keeps playing the record over and over again. And he says to me, it's the flyest thing I ever heard a person say to me. What's that? He says, I'm going to Miami um, tonight. Uh, where you going? I said, I'm going to Miami tomorrow. He said, Are you, I'm going now, you want to ride? Wow. So, you know, G5 status, so I'm like, hey. So I said, now nah, I'm gonna chill out here. I was chilling anyway with my pops or whatever. So I get a call at like six in the morning. It's Puff on my voicemail from an airplane singing hello, good morning. Hello, good morning, let's go, let's go. So when I wake up, I land in Miami. He says, yo, what you doing for Thanksgiving? Come to my house, have Thanksgiving dinner with me. So I come in this house, this huge mansion in Miami, and through the surround sound speakers, it's me singing Hello, Good Morning throughout the whole wow. time, my demo, Hello, Good Morning. So it was like crazy, like, wow, my idol who I grew up idolizing got my music playing, and I'm sitting next to him, like, I'm eating Thanksgiving dinner next to Puff Daddy. What have you learned from the Diddies and all the other people who impacted you in some uh, kind of way? Um, I learned from Puff, like, every everything is an event. I learned that from Usher, and Usher as well. Everything is an event. You always want your Talk own Talk to me a little bit about that. Dig into that a little bit. Basically, I I never, like when I come to the studio, I'm always prepared like I'm going on stage. Like I'm, like my, my not even just my clothes or my wardrobe or everything. It's just that my mindset is like I'm attacking everything. Like this is the last song I'm ever going to write. Got it's it. the last day I can ever be in the studio. This has to be the biggest, most monumental thing I've ever done in my life. And I approach every situation like that. Everything has to be an event. Touching base on your roots again, I want to know how the how the Rico Love fee has changed from the throwbacks to the Beyonce Sweet Dreams. How have you? Fee? Yeah, the fee. Oh man, that fee is a, a yeah. It's a beast. Yeah, it's Talk a, to me about that. Is it hard to keep it reasonable and still work with up and up and coming talent as well? Re as the, reasonable is not even you know you get what you pay for. Right. You know, so I feel like I'm always reasonable because I just feel like it's you know it makes Quality sense work. to take care of what you know. You buying even something you pay for. I mean, obviously, I don't get ridiculous because I feel like the game ain't there no more. Mm -hmm. But I don't make it about that anyway. If I believe in an artist, I work with their budget, and I don't come in the room and say, you know, I was it was guys who I worked with when I was working on my album and I was on J Records that made me pay before I got to the studio. Of I believe if I if I see an artist I believe in, I do the record. I just you know whatever they have, I work with it because I believe in the art, mm -hmm. and the music. We respect the music first and foremost. You can't put a, a number, like a number of miles on top of that. You are an entrepreneur as well, mm -hmm. D One Records. I want to get into that um, and talk to me about the transition from music to entrepreneurship. It must be very hard to to balance the both. How do you do it? Um, I just, you know, I just feel like um, I'm a man first, and as a man, there's different things that in your life that you wanna, you know. You might see something that you want to invest in. You might see something that you want to be a part of and see if you can add your two cents to it. So this business is just like another day in the office. When I get up, I'm just trying to do as much as I can to leave my imprint on the world and trying to affect it in my little way so that when I'm, my kid gets older, he, he's able to have, have, you know, be impressed with his dad, you know. Sure. And the leading artist on D1 is Young Chris. I actually had a chance to catch up with him in LA. King of pressure, keep me fresh. I got my polos on. Let my car goes late without the logo song. Hello, red, fit, and white P, that's me. 
Talk to me about what's in store. I know you guys are baking up something crazy. Sure. So talk to me about it. You were actually playing something yeah. when we walked in today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just had a meeting with the lady with the staff at the university. The we getting ready to drop a single next week, so it's, some, it's a very urgent, very, very strong record that I believe in. I believe in young Chris so much. Mm -hmm. Like I just, I feel like he finally gets his shot. Mm -hmm. The world gets to finally see it out talented of a songwriter he is, how talented of an artist, how charismatic he is, how much of a personality he is on, on, on stage and off the stage. And to be a part of that, I feel more blessed than, you know, being able to facilitate them. I feel like I'm more blessed to be able to be there to give him that, you know, segue. I feel like I'm creating with him the album that I never had as an artist. So it's just the most fun ever. He's a great guy. Me and him get along great. He, he just, it's just a great time. You know? I, I get to live out my dream in so many different ways. I'm just blessed and honored to be able to help other people live out there. And your list of credits, awards, accolades go on and on. You have much in store for uh, 2011. Where do you see yourself in five years? Five years, I, I, I feel like uh, Division One is going to be a household name. It's going to be a brand. I'm going to have a roster of successful artists. I'm going to continue to uh, make uh, records for other artists. I want to keep winning. I want to keep consistently changing radio and shifting radio back to great songs, great melodies. And also want to just um, be the biggest name in not only music, but in fashion and in, and in uh, television and everything. I feel like what, what um, Russell did, what Puff did and, and still does, I feel like it's room for a, a new guy to come across and um, capture that lane and kind of step in the forefront of that. And um, I'm fortunate enough to have those guys as my mentors and just be able to watch um, and learn from them. But I feel like I'm positioning myself right now to be where they stand right now. All right, perfect. There you have it, guys. I'm Dewan. Make sure you log on to 24 Wired uh, TV for all the latest, hottest videos in music and entertainment. This is Rico Love. Make sure y'all check in for D1 Entertainment and the record, Young Chris's record, Alive, yeah. that's coming. Is it this year? Yeah, the, the album, I don't have a date for the album yet. The okay. album is called Alive. The single, I'm going to But they it. will have it. Yeah. And the single drops when? The single's coming next week. All right, perfect. Rico Love, y'all. Thank you, man. Thank you so much. All right. Man.